Hello everyone. In today's class, let us study what is the derivative of cosec and x. So, we will find the derivative of cosec x by using first principle method. In our previous classes, we have studied about um, the first principle method and how to use this method for finding the derivative of continuous functions. Again, we have studied how to find the derivative of sin x, cos x, tan x, cot x and secant x. Now, we left with only cosecant x in our basic trigonometric functions. First, we need is the function should be continuous function. As we know, the function cosecant x is continuous function. So, let us consider f of x equal to cosecant x. We need f of x plus h. So, this will be equal to cosecant of x plus h. In the place of x, we have x plus h. Right? So, according to the formula of first principle, d by dx of, as you know, here x is the independent variable. Okay? So, function is depending on x, right? d by dx of cosecant x will be equal to limit as h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So, this is a formula limit as h tending to 0. The value of f of x plus h is cosecant of x plus h minus f of x is cosec x divided by h is there. So, this will be equal to limit as h tending to 0. Cosecant x is nothing but a reciprocal of sine. So, sine of in the place of theta we have x plus h minus again cosecant 1 divided by sine x whole divided by h is there. This will be equal to limit as h tending to 0 here sine x minus here sine of x plus h divided by sine x into sine of x plus h. In the whole denominator, we have h. It can be written as h by 1. It will to the numerator as 1 by h, taking reciprocals. So, we left with let h here. Now, this can be written as limit as h tending to 0. Sin a minus sin b is there. Sin a minus sin b is nothing but 2 cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2. So, 2 cos in the place of a we have x in the place of b, have, b we have x plus h. 2 cos a plus b. So, x plus x plus h by 2 is there into sin a minus b by 2. Again, x minus x plus h divided by 2. 2 cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2. Whole divided by the term h into sin of x into sin x plus h is there as it is. I am keeping. Now, this will be equal to limit as h tending to 0. Okay. 2 times cos of x plus x 2x plus h divided by 2 is there into sin of x. x can be cancelled. We left with minus into plus minus h divided by 2 whole divided by 2 times sin x into sin of x plus h. This is equal to limit as h tending to 0. Here 2 cos 2x plus h by 2 into sine of plus into minus minus h by 2 divided by h into sine x into sine of x plus h. Here we have h by 2. So, I will do h by 2 here into 2. Okay. Now, we can combine these two because the sine of minus theta is nothing but minus sine theta. So, we can write this as limit as h tending to 0 to cos 2x plus h by 2 into sine of h by 2 here minus sine outside divided by 2 times h by 2 sin x into sin of x plus h. 
so here 2 and 2 kit cancels and this h by 2 this h by sin h by 2 we can we need to combine so as you know limit as theta tending to 0 sin theta divided by theta will the value 1 so we need to combine with h tending to 0 whenever h tending to 0 h by 2 will also tending to 0 so no need to take problem for this so this will be equal to whenever applying the limit cos of x plus h h will uh, get the value 0 right so cos of cos of 2x will have divided by sin of x into sin of x plus h will be sin x itself and 2x by 2 is there so we can cancel 2 by 2 here so we left with the cos x divided by sin square x here a negative sign is there right so in this value minus sign is there right so we need to take minus sign here so this is nothing but minus cos by sin is cot into 1 by sin we left 1 by sin is cos second x so d by dx of cos second x is nothing but minus cot x into cos second x